icy cold weather and unforgiving terrain are no barriers for our soldiers and airmen who have travelled over 16,000 kilometres to be here in Fort Sill, Oklahoma to train in one of the largest and most complex exercises to date. This is Exercise Forging Sabre. More than 500 SAF personnel took part in the exercise to hone the SAF's integrated strike capabilities. A lethal mix of sophisticated software matched with an array of hard-hitting hardware took out simulated enemy assets in the vast mountainous area at Fort Sill. And this is one of the new hardware that made its debut in the airline integration exercise. It may look like something out of a Mad Max movie, but under its thick armour-plated skin lies a deadly capability. It's able to engage uh, accurately uh, targets okay, up to 70 kilometres away with a error of less than 5 metres. It can shoot its full load of six rockets within 45 seconds, then scoot after firing. Once we have fired the rocket and we decide to stow the launcher, the whole process takes less than a minute. After stowing, we can immediately evacuate our firing point. Exercise Forging Saber's success lies not in its firepower alone or in its complex computers. It lies in the people behind these machines. While most are confined in the cold catacombs of the control centres, a small team of men prepare to brave the elements for a critical mission. They may be a small team, but they pack a big punch. Their task lies far away from the confines of their friendly forces. From the Chinook, these commandos are dropped in a remote area close to enemy lines. With their backpacks weighing about 35 kilograms, they trek some 20 to 30 kilometers on foot over treacherous terrain and under an unforgiving climate. We trail them for a kilometer and realize this was not an easy task. A short distance in a vegetated covered area, like a one kilometer can take us up to an hour to walk. Go to it and make adjustments. And the effort amounts to this. A small hole in the ground, inconspicuous to enemy forces. As much as possible, we will... I'm now at the observation post where two of the commando lazing team have been holed up for like a few days. Let's find out what they have to do. A two-man team operate here, keeping a watchful eye on enemy position. Through an array of sensors and lasers, they beam back the coordinates to friendly forces in the sky and take them out. Destroyed. And Viper TDA target is destroyed. 